Hey y'all. So, getting ready. And I thought that I would show you guys how I put this U part on. Because you probably want to know, right? I really don't want to do my hair or my makeup today. I don't want to look cute at all. But this wig is by, actually it's not by anybody. It's um, a wig that my friend made for me a couple of years, two years ago. And when I tell y'all she hooked this bad boy up, it has Jace Beauty hair in it. And this hair has lasted me through thick and thin. It's my baby. And I love it to death. You hear my husband singing? He's been singing Stay With Me for the past 30 minutes. Like, he never stops singing. That's what happens when you live with Chris Brown. You never get a break. He's making a video, that's why. I knew he was going to make one. It feels like he's killing. He always has to make a video. The trick to this is to comb it back, right? You comb it into place, into place, in the way that you want it. And then you use a spritz that gets kind of hard. I'm going to spritz it. singing all out. <laughs> Tell somebody you record. I'm recording. What should I talk about, babe? iPhone 6. Huh? iPhone 6. I'm tired of talking about the iPhone 6. I just want it now. Like I'm <gasps> I probably shouldn't be using my hands after I just cooked and didn't wash them afterwards. Meatloaf and lemon bars all over my head. That lemon thing was pretty good. You tried it? You said you weren't going to. Don't look at me like that. I was like, try it, babe. And you were like, no. What do we talk to our eat? I need my mustache wax so bad. Oh my god, look at this. Just that one part is like. So. Don't want to wear that foundation today. Yeah, I do. My skin is doing better. Um, a lot better, actually. It was what I was eating. It wasn't water. It wasn't anything else. It was just what I was eating. And see, what happens is when you don't eat healthy, whatever is going on in the inside of your body, it reflects to the outside of your body. And then you'll be able to tell. That's why my hair has been so dandruffy too. Just gotta get rid of my dark spots now. But what else is new? It's always a struggle. Struggle of my life. What's on the inside is there always a reflection on the outside. Which is why you should have a good heart. Yeah. Be a good person. Think good thoughts. So people can see that manifest on the outside. Are you the oracle? Yes. I was just talking about that on Twitter. That's why I said it. The oracle tells the future. She doesn't give advice. <laughs> Every once in a while, I have to like go through my iPhoto just to like look at pictures and stuff because I've been getting nostalgic and stuff. And then I found this Instagram post of my um, uncle's obituary where he had his like last words or whatever, words to live by and stuff that I use for pretty much everything. It's like most of them are just like about how to be a good person because if you're a good person then people will like you. No, that's why I was talking, because, okay, so no. if you follow Raven, you probably saw her video where she was talking about, um, I'm only cool on the internet. That's why we were all talking about that. That's why. That's why that happened. It's so hot in here. I was telling her that, you know, people will only find you desirable, or people will only like you or want to be friends with you if you love yourself. You have to love yourself first. That's like number one. Like, I tell people this who are single all the time. You cannot expect somebody to want to be with you if you aren't comfortable by yourself. People are always like, well, how did you find a man? How did you get a man? Well, when I met Cameron, I didn't want to be in a relationship. I was comfortable by myself 
and I thought I was the bomb. I thought I didn't need nobody else, which probably is the best way to think about yourself. But I mean, I was confident is the thing. I was confident and you know, I was content in the way I was and I was happy being alone and being single and doing my own thing. It was a new chapter in my life. I was going to school. I wasn't worried about no man. And it just so happens we fell in love, but I wasn't really trying to. I fought it for so long. I wasn't even thinking about him. And that's how you kind of have to be. You can't be like super worried about what everybody thinks about you. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not what everybody thinks about you that's important. It's what you think about yourself that's important. You know. That's just how it is. That's just the way it is. People want a relationship and they want somebody to tell them that they love them and oh you're so beautiful you're so if i don't feel good about myself like today i don't feel good about myself today i feel like i feel like i look like crap i was just asking cameron i was like cameron am i beautiful and what what did he say what'd you say babe he didn't say anything that's the thing he didn't answer did i get the reaction that i wanted no i did not are you going to feel validated all the time no you're not you have to feel that for yourself. If I don't feel like I look good, then I just don't look good that day. And it has nothing to do with if Cameron makes me feel good or not. It just has to do with how I feel. Exactly why I didn't say nothing. And he knows that if he says something and he responds, he's either going to lie or not say anything. Because if you say I look bad, <sighs> you're going to ruin my whole self-esteem for the whole day. Which shouldn't be reliant on him. It should be reliant on myself. Which is why he didn't say anything. Because he's smart. Your self-esteem should be relying on Jesus. Your <laughs> right. Your self-esteem should be relying on Jesus. Oh, this is the wrong color. No, but for real though. Like for real, for real. Hopefully I'm not too dark. If not, I can lighten it. It's cool. I'm really not trying to look cute. Because, I mean, either way I'm going to feel like crap. Because it's... Aunt Flo is visiting, so... I'm always gonna feel like crap when I feel this visiting. I didn't do my eyebrows right. Ugh. That's what I was messing up. I knew it. My goodness, Vicky. See, this is why I didn't want to do my makeup today because I knew that I was gonna mess up. And I gotta take this meatloaf out the oven. Babe, can you take the meatloaf out the oven? Gotcha. See, that's why I love you. He's helpful when he wanna be. Let me ask him to make the bed though. That I love you and I appreciate you. Lies. <laughs> I do though. It's not a lie. What did you say? Doesn't matter what I said. Just know that I love you and appreciate you. I love it. You never have to say that. Sometimes I do need to say it because sometimes you may not know, but your aunt Flo doesn't visit, so you probably don't have those days. At the end of the day. You cannot rely on other people to make you feel good about yourself, to validate you, and to make you feel wanted and needed. And in regards to what she was saying in the video about how she felt like she didn't like have a life outside of the internet, one thing I can say about that is if you're a YouTuber, this is for you, okay? Or if you work from home or something like that, you step, take a step back and really get your real world in order because the thing is you can get so wrapped up in being on the internet all the time that everything else and everybody else seems like not fun and not important and i'm a hermit i like to stay at home i like to be by myself a lot because that's just the way i was all my life like i didn't have friends really ever like real ones so creep I had to learn how to come out of my shell, especially when I got married, because, you know, Cameron has friends. I walked into a group of friends. I didn't have friends before this, which is why I'm telling y'all that it is, it is possible to be content being by yourself, because I was by myself. But you can get lost in the Twitter world, in the Instagram world, all of these worlds that aren't real, because the internet isn't real. Even though y'all do watch me, y'all are real people, y'all aren't here, y'all aren't physically here to tell me, hey Vicky, you look great today. Even though you don't have makeup on, you look beautiful. Y'all aren't here to tell me that. Y'all don't see me when the light, when the camera go off and all that stuff. Y'all don't see me. And when it's me by myself, even 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 though I am married and everything, when it's me by myself, I have to be okay with my real life. So one thing I would say is, if you can, well, 
not even just YouTubers, everybody. Sometimes you just need to take a break. Take a break from the internet, step back, get off of all social media for like two weeks at least. And just give yourself some time to really like analyze your life and, you know, talk to people. Even if they're not really your friends, even if they're not people that you hang out with or whatever, just socialize. Socialize with people, get out and do stuff. And if you can't, if you don't have friends or if you don't like the people that are around you, what I did was when I was back home and single, I got a job. I got a job at Forever 21. It caused me to be super, super people oriented. I had to be, like, for that money. You want to make that money, you got to do the thing they told you to do. Okay. Basically, customer service was my life. So I had to interact with other people, and it made me have to be friendly and cordial with people outside of YouTube land. So it kind of forced me to get out there and you know, learn how to deal with people. And sometimes you have to do that. You have to have like a real life outside of this because this can get really lonesome. Like really, really lonesome. Like honestly, like I don't feel like I'm talking to people right now. I feel like I'm talking to a camera. So <laughs> it's not like interaction with physical souls, human beings that can vibe off of you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And of course nobody's gonna be exactly like you to be like, oh, we're one, we are the same person. No, no, not everybody is like you. But that's just the beauty of it. You are your own person, so you have to learn how to work with other people who are their own person. You know what I'm saying? Cameron forces me to get out the house now. He forces me to go places and he forces me to hang out all the time, even though I would love for it to just be me. But it's good to learn how to get around other people on a regular basis. You can't be a hermit forever. Even though I really want to be because, quite honestly, being by myself is way more fun. Ugh, Vaseline is gross. <laughs> That's nasty. My point is that you have to learn how to work with people and still be yourself and still be comfortable being yourself because that's pretty much all there is to life is finding where you fit in and being that person. Hopefully this video isn't too dark because I feel like it's getting really dark. But I'm done anyway. That's pretty much all I'm going to do because I don't feel like looking any cuter than this. And I need to go eat my meatloaf because I'm hungry. I keep forgetting to do stuff. Getting so caught up in what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you guys have any like suggestions for things that I can talk about for these videos, let me know because I would definitely love to know because I don't ever know what to talk about. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hit me up in the comments. And um, yeah. I'm probably going to straighten this hair out on this side because it's kind of lumpy. It's been sitting in a bag for a couple months, so we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much all, guys. I got to go, so talk to you later.